this is what I don't like. I just did a whole video about my brand new computer I'm working on and um, about don't buy Apple phones because you buying a phone just because you can talk to the phone is stupid. I can talk to this Android fucking phone. And one more thing. Oh yeah, our kids can't speak to each other, but you want to teach them how to talk to a phone. Yeah, I bashed Apple in the last video and it didn't go up. I also uh, set out some guidelines for what's about to happen in the future to this channel. And um, the guidelines were this. I'm taking all the music videos down. I'm putting them on Broke Man Studio and I'm taking my ass back to Broke Man Studio. I got a partnership on a different channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up for revenue. And I'll be over there doing videos that no man need die. That's where I'll talk about, you know, things going on in the world and shit. So the real AIX is gonna be on hiatus. I don't know, I didn't do much this year. This year was the slowest year ever in AIX history. Real slow, year number four. So um just wanna tell you, um thank you for your time. I'm extremely pissed off. I talked about the Dr. Scumbag Murray case. Uh, it's not the Michael Jackson death case. It's the Dr. Scumbag Murray case. Um, I told you I talked about phones that talk and why pay extra money because it's Apple. Can't eat it. It's not an Apple. It's a fucking piece of polyurethane plastic circuits and shit in it and cancer causing materials. So, um, the moral of the story is this, a phone is a phone. Um, kids nowadays don't speak to each other. They don't talk to each other. But you're going to teach your kid how to talk to a phone. That's cool. Um, kids can't write anymore. Uh, they text. Thus, they can't speak to each other no more. Thus, they have to learn how to talk to the phone. So the phone tells them what to say to a person. Um, then I also bashed uh, the Occupy people in my hometown, the people who are occupying the Santa Rosa. I see them on TV. I don't even want to go down there. I am an activist. I talk shit. I've been beaten up and abused in this situation since I've been here. And I look on TV and I see yuppies on TV with the kids, brand new tents. There's no homeless people out there. There's no struggling people out there. They got the most powerful, rich ass people. I mean, they got clean people. The kids getting up and... <laughs> ridiculous when you're a suburbanite type town and you out there trying to protest with Oakland and San Francisco and New York and Boston and all these other uh, states you look ridiculous when the people on the front line are there because oh I just want to make my voice heard your voice don't need to be fucking heard if you ain't struggling your voice don't need to be heard if you, if you have no worries, the same people that were treating me like shit and was being racist towards me was walking around the fucking crowd out there. I don't want to be. I don't want to protest with these motherfuckers. What? So I can get your leg up again? So you put it back in my ass? Some of these people, and I want to. I want some of you white people out here in this occupied protest need to take your asses home. Bring your kids down there. Oh, we just need to teach them how to be civic. You're going to teach them how to be what? The great divide is coming. They're charging money for schools. They're making the divide. They're going to raise the rates up for the college students. They're going to push it down. They're pushing it down. That middle class is going down. And it's not the top 1%. I'm tired of hearing that shit. It's the top 5%. You want to cut the tip off the spear and have the rest of the blade going up in your neck? You want to get it jagged? You want to let the hungry sharks still be in the water with you? That 4% that you're not counting up there at the tip of the spear is the motherfuckers making you want to rise up against the tip. And when they get to the tip, your ass is going to get farther down to the bottom. You motherfuckers running around out here protesting and breaking up shit. 1,500 different causes will not get anything fucking settled. Uh, overseas, 
They rallied against the bad governments and overthrew the governments. But did you hear them saying anything about overthrowing the banks overseas? No. It was the governments in, in the Arab Spring. They were overtoppled. What the banks? You come here to America and look at our protests. They're protesting injustice. They're protesting inequality. They're protesting financial inequality. You talk all this shit, Occupy Wall Street. You're not shutting down the exchange. You're not going to the airports and laying down on a on a, uh, the tarmacs, and you're not stopping the industry. If it's the top 1% you want to fight, you need to hit them in their railway stations. You need to hit them on day TV stations. Yeah. You need to hit them in their shopping centers. You need to hit them on their multimedia websites. You need to understand when someone tells you to jump, you need to understand exactly who is telling you to jump and for what and for why. Just because all this other stuff happened around the world, the United States is left out. We must create our own image of our own protests. If you protest for every fucking cause at the same fucking time and you don't do nothing but go camping, you tend to not get anything done. March your ass down there and demand that Wall Street is closed for a week. Shut them down for a week. Go to all these ports in Los Angeles and New York and Texas. Shut down the, the overseas people coming up in here, throwing their shit in front of you and telling you, eat it. Eat that phone that you can't make, but you got to have. Eat it. Give me my money. Pay me. That's what other countries do. China's smart. They're going to come here and open up factories and shit out here. China's going to come here and put Americans to work. That's what I hear. China went to Africa, put Africans to work. Is it a new world change regime? The Asians get to run it for a minute. Is that it? Regardless of whatever the situation is, we have people protesting all over this country for millions of different reasons. A million reasons. No cause. No cause for them to worry about you. And no cause for you to think that anything is going to change because all you get to do is go camping for free. You don't see the homeless rising up like this. They're homeless amongst the groups. You don't see the endangered African-American species rising up for, hey, I'm an endangered species. Could you protect me some? You don't see that. You don't see the skinheads talking about, you know what? Everything is bad. We need our rights too. You don't see that. You don't see the Klan marching amongst these people, marching for better. Don't see that. Do you understand what a, a true general strike is? Is that every American took the day off. I'm not going to work at McDonald's. I'm not going to work at uh, McLaren. I'm not going to work at, at Mac. I'm not going to work at whatever. One day strike, won't hurt them. When you don't go to work, they save money. They save money. They don't want to give a fuck. They can eat. They can go shopping. They can do whatever they want. Whenever you can walk in the store and not worry about the price on whatever they have in the store, you finally made it. That's not rich. That's not poor. That's not indifferent. When you go in the store and don't have to worry about the price on the sticker, you've made it. If it's from $1 
the one million dollars. Whatever you want to spend, if you can walk in there and don't have to worry about it, you've made it. Not all people who can walk in a store and not worry about it have made it. The power of money is an addiction. The power of power is an addiction. The addiction to need more, to want more. It's like a hit of drugs. The guy falls out and has a heart attack. Ah! Cops, ambulance, everybody comes in. Rush him. Get him out of there. Gets to the hospital, gets cured. Six months later. Doing the same shit again. You could fall off the mountain if the ride up to the top of the mountain was that incredible. You will do it all again to fall off all again. The thing is, we have been taught the wrong set of morals. Our moral standard is to need morally, I have to have money. Finance is not immoral. Conquering people is not moral. Kindness and and and, and self-respect, that's moral. Doing for somebody, even when you can't do it for yourself, that's moral. Having more than you need and making sure everybody got something is moral. Feeding those who can't feed themselves is moral. Putting clothes on the back of those who can't clothe themselves is moral. Taking from those who can't get their own is American. I'm going to take from the weak to add to my stash to just itch me up. Itch, 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 until I'm at the top. That's American. Step on that guy on your way up. She's in your way. These people are stopping you from needing what you get. They're stopping you from getting what you get. Crush them on the way to the top. Then once you get to the top, you've crushed everybody. You can't go back. You can't crush anybody else where you're at because these people are all good. And they could probably crush you. And you just become one of those people who talk about those who can't. Because you can't. Let's go buy a house in the Hamptons. Fuck it. I'm saving my money up so I can buy the Hamptons. You know, this fucking attitude that we have to be better. We, we're Americans. Fuck you. How does that fucking work? When a whole society of people put their foot in a whole other society's ass just to stay in the better neighborhood. Put the gas stations and, and the chemical companies and the factories and shit in the poor neighborhoods. You make the people sick that you want to take care of you. You don't want to have to, all these people who got to fix your food and shit can't have health care and shit. But you want them to work and do for you. Barely enough to survive so they can be dependent upon you. The new form of slavery is cock twisted. I can hit lotto and have fifty million dollars and still be a dirty ass black piece of trash. I can hit that lotto and get that same fifty million dollars, turn it into two hundred and fifty million dollars and never fucking look back and still be a piece of black trash. You people out there who wanna fight against the one percent, it's the top five that you gotta fuck with. The tip of the spear only cuts, but when the blade digs in, it'll burn all the way down to the bottom of the shaft and everybody get in. You don't want the tip of the spear busting through, that's success at the tip. Put the whole blade up in the ass. We all need a chance. Refine your Occupy and Occupy the refined way. Occupy what counts. Occupy the balance and don't vote for a millionaire. Don't vote for a millionaire. And if you gotta talk to your phone, you're stupid.
call mom. Mom? I miss you, mom. No, my phone sucks. No, it's not as good as those new ones they have, but I'm trying to let people know that don't waste your money on something that you'll be able to find in the flea market. Yeah. Well, hey, that's how life is sometimes. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. All right, Mom. Mm hmm. Yes. I know. You don't have to tell me a million times, Mom. Yeah. I know. The world will fuck you. Don't bend over. <laughs>